vortex. I just want you to see what I'm seeing because it's a beautiful sight. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Dude, if I had a cow, I would not slaughter it because I would get attached to it. I know that that's what would happen and I would probably stop eating meat because I would make friends with the animals and if I made friends with the animals, I couldn't kill the animals. But since the chicken that is on my uh, on my tray here, and the chicken has already been slaughtered. I feel like I owe it to that chicken to at least enjoy it. Otherwise, it's like it died for nothing, you know. And it's not as if I'm. The only species that enjoys chicken you know and I'm not just talking about like <laughs> humans I was gonna make a race joke but I'm just gonna digress on that anyway <laughs> well because the thing is there are a lot of stereotypes out there about everybody People will get mad if you talk about their stereotype. It's just the way it goes. You know, that it, it really is true of everybody though. But that's why I joke very casually about things. Like I've always been that way, especially working in restaurants for 15 years. Because when you work in kitchens, like people talk to each other real dirty. People talk to each other real you know, like, we're like family, you know? So we just talk a bunch of shit and like, a lot of times, you know, we make racial jokes. And that, that's what's hilarious. It's like, yeah, this is real life. Like real life people making real life jokes and it's actually funny. You watch comedy and it's a bunch of fake ass motherfuckers that think that they know how the world works. They want to whine about PC garbage and it's like they they don't say anything that's true they don't say anything that like needs to be said they don't see anything that's like actually relevant because like i feel like the best comedy is comedy that's relevant no matter what like carlin bill hicks mitch hedberg it's always going to be the same you know and keep in mind that last one was way different than the first two, okay? But their comedy is always going to be good because it's just timeless. That stuff is always true. Mitch's jokes will always be funny, <laughs> you know? Just like censorship will always pose a threat. Just like people will always be very stupid. Just like America will always suck the life and the joy out of you. <laughs> Unless you figure out how the system works and you can work around it. Most people haven't figured that out. And I gotta be honest, I haven't figured it out all the way. Some of the way, not all the way. And if you're wondering why I talk weird, it's just a thing I do, get over it, get used to it, or get on with it, move on with your life, get the fuck off this channel. I'm so mean, I don't care anymore. I really don't, I just lost a subscriber the other day, I have no idea how or why but oh no. so many people leave because they can't handle my mouth and that's just this channel just you know regular ass life man 
seen it happen with customers in drive-through seen it happen with boyfriends not that I didn't want them to leave right right <laughs> oh it's fantastic it's fantastic being your own boyfriend I know that sounds real sad and depressing and pathetic but I promise it's not it's really not 